you are looking for a sports bike like this are the quick shifter and this bike doesn't have one waiting two to three weeks for a servicing appointment i don't think is a viable option hello and welcome back to my youtube channel motos from imran and in this video as you can see i have this amazing beast bmw g310 rr with us again and i'm saying again because i've already made an in-depth re review video about this bike and i have told you about what are the good points about this bike and what are the bad points about this bike and you can make a judgment by just watching that video so that will be displaying here on the i button if you haven't watched it go watch it now and in this video i'm going to talk about why you should not buy this bike so I'm going to list down five points and uh, those are separate points from what I've mentioned in my earlier video. So in this video, these are fairly new points and I have curated and I'm, I've thought about it a lot. And then I've listed down these five points for you. So you can have a look at these five points and if these five points bother you and matters for you a lot, then I think then this bike is not for you. I'll not be biased toward this bike and that's why I'll be making a separate video on why you should buy this bike and after watching both the videos you'll be able to uh, figure out for yourself if you want to buy this bike or not or if you want to go for a competitor's bike. First and the foremost thing that bothers me a lot in this bike is it doesn't get a Bluetooth connect connectivity. I mean, you are paying four lakh for almost four lakh for this bike, and you are not getting any Bluetooth connectivity here. The instrument console is beautiful, but that doesn't help you a lot. Uh, you should have got at least uh, you know a call manager blue with, with the Bluetooth connectivity, and you, you should have got an app where you can just check out. Uh, your bike details your odometers and everything and keep a track of it even the even the cheapest of the bike are now getting bluetooth connection but this doesn't the other thing that should matter for you a lot when you are looking for a sports bike like this are the quick shifter and this bike doesn't have one so i think even the r15 v4 has quick shifter in it and this bike doesn't uh, when you are paying a premium price for the bike like uh, the brand is bmw and i think quick shifter should have been there uh, to enhance your overall ride quality uh, even the even the gear shifting is very hard as i have mentioned it in my review video there's no quick shifter so you know you don't get that uh, sports bike kind of vibe here because of the the overall setup so the next point about why you should not buy this bike is let me just ask you a question if you are buying bmw what do you expect premiumness right but premiumness in service premiumness in the parts premiumness in the whole body itself right but i have asked the owner and the owner has told me that he had to wait almost two to three weeks for an appointment to get his bike serviced so i mean two to three weeks is a lot of time when you are buying a bike of bmw such a high premiumness you should be getting a premium service as well right so waiting two to three weeks for a servicing appointment i don't think is a viable option and the servicing is obviously good because you are paying a premium price that is almost 15 20000 uh, at once when 
in your in, in your second or third services and you get you don't get any free service like at least even the cheapest of the bikes uh, you get first or second service free that is the labor the labor charges is not there but bmw bmw doesn't do that so the next thing why you should now not buy this bike and i have told this in my previous review video as well is the vibration uh the engine refinement is extremely bad to be honest it's just a tvs engine to be honest so the vibration on this bike are terrible and you will face it on your legs on your hands and uh, the it, it it just reduces the ride quality overall ride quality so uh, you'll not enjoy actually riding this bike for you know long hours even in traffic you'll be uh a bit pissed off because it heats up uh usually in in, in high traffic and uh, the bike tends to switch off so uh, the tuning is also not in not right the clutch and uh, the acceleration tuning is not right so i guess the overall engine is uh, not up to the mark up to what bmw should be and um that i think a point that you should take care of and if that bothers you a lot i think that will bother you a lot because ride quality should be good in any bike if you are paying that much amount and you are not just paying 4 lakh for the looks right another point on why you should not buy this bike is the it's a very small thing but yes it should matter you a lot because you don't get a grab rail you just get get a grab rail on this side there's nothing on this side so if you have a girlfriend or a wife or a friend that likes to be a pillion then he's going to be facing a lot of issue because they should have given a grab rail on both the side that would have been easier for the pillion to sit because uh the whole weight distribution on this bike is of a sports bike only so your weight is tilted towards the tank so when if the pillion is also sitting then the whole weight transfer to the rider and the rider's hands so on long ride it's going to be an issue i'm not complaining about the comfort here as you can see comfort will not be there in in a sports bike i agree but grab rail should have been there uh, so that the pillion can sit easily on this bike so there you go those were the five points about why you should not buy this bike and i hope i have helped you a bit and if i have helped you a bit then please do leave a like and comment and subscribe to my channel that will help me a lot and if you have any questions do drop it in the comments or if you want a quicker quicker reply then follow me on uh, instagram and i'll i'll definitely uh, answer your questions bye bye